Oh, hello everyone. It's been quite a while since we shot one of these in a car, which means that we are on a project trail. What's in store? Let's find out next. Yes, that's right. We are doing a project today. We are in the parking lot of Home Depot. I can't wait to get in there and look to see if we can find what it is that we're looking for. And you may ask, what are you looking for? Well, I have grown tired of too much dust in my cabinets. Now, this is something I've been wanting to do for quite some time. We've talked about it in some of our displays for dummies, as well as the collection room tour, and I, we need to get this situated. So I am looking for a few things to help me with dust proof my DTOF. So we're going to go into Home Depot. I'm going to go and take a look at that. But before we do so, as I've said before, if you've not done so already, go ahead and give me a presumptive like for this video. It's a little bit different than what we've done before, but I would appreciate it. And also make sure to like and subscribe to this channel if you've not done so already. Got some good things in store, but let's get in there. It's awfully cold if you can't tell. So let's get inside and see if we can find the things that we need. Okay, you may be saying, Kevin, what are you doing here in Home Depot? What are we looking for this time? Well, we are looking for weather seal, window weather seal to help keep that dust out. I'm looking for the self-adhesive that you can just kind of peel and stick on there. That's what we're looking for. I'm assuming it would be in the windows section. So I'm going to try to ask you for help to make sure I'm not going down a wrong aisle and I'll let you know when we find it. Okay, I was wrong. It is not in the windows. It is in aisle nine, depending on how yours is set up. And here it is. Here is all the weather seal rubber foam. So I'm going to take a look here to see what I'm needing, but this is essentially what it is. You kind of peel it off, you put it in between, and I will show you that when we get home, and it should keep out the dust. So let me find the right little bit, and I'll let you know what I settle on. Okay, so I am torn. I have a white and I have a black. I have a 316 and I have a 516 in width. Now they're both the same as far as diameter goes and in length, not a big deal. So I'm trying to decide if the white, which is probably the one I need it to be, is going to stand out too much in the display. I wanted this size in black, but they don't have that. So I may have to do a test to see which one I want to get. It's only like a 20 cent difference between them. Each one is kind of like 277. So really not that bad um, for what we're trying to do. So what do you think? What will I do? I guess you will find that out next. Okay, so we're back in the car and I officially went with, drum roll please, we went with the black 516. So as I said, they're like $2. So I'm going to try to see if that works. I went with the black because I think it's going to look better as opposed to that kind of creamy looking uh, white. So I'm going to try to do this and I went with the thicker one simply because I think it may help I may be wrong when I get in there, but I think it may help with some cable management and hiding some of the wires. So we're going to find out. We're going to put them in the DTOF. We will see. And let's get home and check it out. Oh, wait. No, we're not going home just yet. We are taking a detour. Yes, that's right. Replay Toys is having a special cosplay competition. That meaning that they are opening up one of their new branches, as we talked about um, on my live, I think, last week. Either way, they're opening up a new store, 10% off if you dress in cosplay. So what do you know? My hair is all messy, but <sighs> let's get going. This is the way. Well, I certainly am going to bring myself in warm because I don't want to be cold. So let's get in here and see what's going on with everybody. So here we are at Replay Toys and look how festive is this? It's not even Halloween, but I am feeling the spirit. Let's take a look and see what we got going on here. I'll make it brief.
Well, that was fun, but now it's time to get home and do the actual work. Let's actually see if these dustproof pieces will actually dustproof these cabinets. So let's get in there and take a look. And if you're wondering, yes, of course, I took advantage of the 10% off sale. I wore my helmet, I did all that stuff, so I should have been able to cash in. What did I get? I guess you'll see, but let's get home and see if this works. All right, so we're back here in the collection room. It's time to get down and dirty. As I've said, we ended up going with the three, let's see, the three eighths, five sixteenth, 10 foot long. I think one of these will do one detoff. As I said, they're around 277. If this works out, I will link it down below and you can go grab some for yourself. So we're going to see whether or not this does work in dust proofing your cabinets. Now you say, okay, they're in cabinets. I thought you said that's a good thing. Yes, but there are ways for dust to creep in and we are going to try to eliminate that. So let me flip this around and let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, especially me, I am not very handy. So when you put these things together, you are definitely gonna have a lot more seams than you want to have. Let's take a look here. See, this is where the dust gets in. That is where it flies in. And depending on if you're any good, you may have some seams wider than the others. As you can see, I'm not that great at this stuff. So what can we do to try to eliminate that? Well, as I said, we are going to dust proof this by putting these nice weather fixtures inside to hopefully close that up. And as I said, hopefully, it actually ends up working at hiding some of the wires too. So let me show you what I'm going to do. So this is officially what we're using. We have our razor blade and we have our rather rubber foam weather seal. So what we're gonna do is open this up and we're going to use this blade to cut it down to size. And it kind of tells you what to do. This is what we're going to do right here. So let's get going. Now, I'd be lying if I said that all this was my idea, but I actually got this idea from posing with Peter, and his description and link is down below. But this is what he told us to possibly do. So I'm going to run it kind of right along here, and then kind of right along the sides here. I don't know if I'm going to need to take this door off. I hope not, but let's give it a try and see, starting with up here. Okay, so that was super easy. All I did was cut that down to size up there, and then put this one here and just ran it all the way down, just following this metal frame. It was actually super easy, sticks real, real nice. And then when you close it, let's take a look. There it goes, nice and sealed. No more stuff getting through. So I like that, I like that. Now the challenge is doing this side next because of that door, but let's see what we can figure out. All right, so no easy way about it. You do have to take the door off, which obviously is not the most ideal thing, especially when you have this many detoffs. But hey, we're going to figure it out. And you just take it off and just be very, very careful about it. So now it's off. I'm going to thread that last part in and then finish it off here at the bottom. And we'll see what our finished product looks like. Well, here we are. Plot twist again. It's not long enough. So if they have an option for a 12, I know it said that this here is 10. If they have an option for a 12 foot, that would be ideal. But it's a good thing I bought extra because we're gonna have to kind of cut and splice to make up for that extra room. So now let's try this again to see if we can actually complete this thing and get the door back on. All right, well, as you can see, the door is in and I put the final piece down there at the bottom. Left a little bit of room, obviously, so that we can finish threading the wires through for the electricity and the lights, but this is it. I did move this over a little bit more right in line with this so that the door can actually shut. So you shut the door. Let's not worry about them fingerprints now, but now we officially have a dust proof cabinet and I like it. I think it does the job. So with that being said, as far as, I think we've got the width right, as you can see, but the length is interesting. If you can get a 12 footer, but as you can see, you can tell the difference between which ones have been done, obviously the one right in the middle and which ones haven't. So this is going to work for me. I like this and I think it's going to really help on keeping these things nice, clean and tidy. So I'm going to give you my final thoughts now.
Well, we officially set out to do what we wanted to do, and that is dust proof this cabinet. And as we said, we went with the Frost King rubber foam self stick weather seal. You can grab that from Home Depot if you wanted to. The link is in the description down below. As I said, we went with the 516th. There is a 316th option. I think the width of it is fine, but the length is something I think you do need to consider. We got the 10 foot. I think if there's an option for a 12 foot or whatever it may be, go ahead and get that. Otherwise, you're going to have to splice these different pieces together. The other pro tip is, yes, make sure to take the door off. That way you can get in there and run it up and along down the frame. The pro tip, have somebody help you out as well. Don't try to take that off by yourself if you're not comfortable doing so. I've put together a lot of these so I know the tips and tricks on how to hold it, how to get it off without breaking anything. These are heavy, these are glass, these are expensive. Please don't do that without assistance. Highly recommend to do so. But overall, I think I'm gonna try this on my displays here to see how it works. No complaints so far. And you know, let's see how it looks in the collection room volume six, I think coming up possibly this summer. Got a few other different things we're working on, but that's going to do it for us here today. I hope you've enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed stopping by Replay Toys. And if you've not done so already, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. I would certainly appreciate it. Let me know down below. Do you dust proof your cabinets? Do you even care about that? If not, what are you doing for your display? And if you do, let me know what you're going to do next. So that's going to do it for us here. I will see you in our next video.